Hi there, my name is Maggie from Mino and Mosaic Studio and today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful stained glass daffodil flower. If you're working with big sheets of stained glass, you want to measure your petals and then transfer the measuring to your stained glass. You want to pre-cut some smaller pieces to make sure you don't waste too much of the bigger sheets. I drew my design of the daffodil on a sheet of paper and carefully cut round the petals. This will ensure I can transfer the design to the sheet with minimal waste. This technique can be used for any subject and for any type of mosaic. Uh, working with stained glass is absolutely fascinating because you can get some huge sheets and enlarge your flower or enlarge your design as much as you desire. When cutting around your design, make sure you have a photograph or a copy of your drawing in order to refer to this at a later stage, assembling the flower as intended without a copy of your drawing will be difficult later on. After cutting round the petals, I'm carefully removing the folds onto the petals for later on. Those will be done using a slightly different shade of yellow. To cut stained glass, I will be using a pair of wheeled nippers and making sure I'm wearing the protective goggles when doing any cutting. I'm also using a deep top to make sure that any loose pieces will end up in there. I've transferred the drawing onto the petals just using a 2B pencil and carefully chipping off one bit at a time, getting closer and closer to the drawing line. This is a repetitive process. Breaks are advised between the petals as well as between completing the petals and starting on the trumpet. If, when cutting, any petals breaks or the cut ends up in the wrong place, feel free to use your creative license. You can add or you can take away pieces to make sure you get closer and closer and to make sure the gaps are as intended. You can add extra cuts on purpose to create the veins or to make the trumpet even more interesting. I hope you find this video helpful and thank you very much for watching. See you soon. Bye.